Oh, Mukululi Bebe, all the way from Zimbabwe. He of the Tambura Jehovah fame, right here on Power Breakfast. Of course, we'll get to learn more about his music later on on the show, so do stand by for that. We continue with our news review this morning with Irungo Kangata, MP Kiharu, Francis Mwangangi, MP Yata, Dorothy Nditi, Deputy Governor, Embo, and Cynthia Mutera, Chair of the Ford Kenya Women's League. Just before the break, of course, we were discussing the possibility and what could happen uh, if uh, probably the government... Uh, does not get to enjoy a majority in parliament uh, and it is a real uh, a possibility this time out and uh, probably that's why the respective party leaders are insisting on a six-piece uh, voting system because uh, it is not guaranteed that the independents will actually agree to uh, and you can see how they're being treated right now there's a case uh, recently in Fika where a jubilee uh, party uh, ejected an independent candidate from their meeting uh, which was to be addressed by the president now this kind of treatment when you get to the national assembly it is no longer guarantee that yes these independent candidates will support whichever side they right. could decide not to um right now during the campaigns of course the IBC is the one that is now the policing the process and making sure that everyone toes the line that independents do remain independent and do not go into the party um, campaigns or join any of the affiliate parties but remain independent and so those are the rules that they're going to be keeping but once you get into parliament we're going to see probably um, legislators coming together to amend these electoral laws to see how they can work together even as independents mm -hmm. in with the ruling coalition or ruling party and we're going to probably see that too because uh, I don't know what the because standing order that means say, we, 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 that's we have to have a post-election uh, coalition agreement at some point uh, for, for any side to have a proper majority uh, what, what happened with this? Uh, thank you and before I go to that point uh, you know we need to address uh, the question why the country has so many so many independent candidates and why we adopted uh, the, we copy pasted our constitution from US UK these developed uh, uh, nations how comes in those countries they have two major political organizations mm -hmm. yet here in Kenya yes they are two but we, down here with the, it is chaotic I would say uh, the reason is I think as a country we must fix the issue of party primaries mm -hmm. because uh, that is where the challenge is. If we fix that problem, I think the rest will sort it itself out. Now coming to your question, uh, it is true if you are independent, um, once you are in parliament and I'm seated here as a president of the nation, I'm not sure which side you will go. Mm -hmm. Uh, some might decide to sell their way, some might decide to be wrong, yet you could have used, uh, if it is maybe in this stronghold where the presidential candidate come from, maybe you write it on his popularity to get into parliament. So in this case, uh, in, my, in my view, um, my colleague, though he is a lawyer, he is qualified in that, in that line, mm -hmm. he will tell you, Actually, in our standing orders, we, I don't think we are dissipated uh, in uh, independence. Mm -hmm. um, and are they allowed to form coalitions? Uh, I, an independent uh, legislator, is he allowed or he or she, is, is he allowed to form a coalition with any a post-election coalition? Because no. <laughs> I'm just looking at your faces, it's like we do not know exactly what no, we have to do. No, the constitution. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's very clear in the constitution that if an independent uh, parliamentarian, for instance, uh, supports a certain party, he loses his seat. However, mm -hmm. uh, uh, by, by practice, they can vote, for instance, this side, this side. They are allowed to but do in matter of the 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 a form, yes, in, in, a form in, terms of, in terms of determining a majority and who has a clear majority, no, you, cannot, one, no. you cannot count on the number yes, of the candidates. Can. The reason why we belong to different political parties is because we we subscribe to the we subscribe to the um, to, to, to the to the belief ideologies. and the, the ideology mm -hmm. of that political party. So when you are independent, it says you don't subscribe to either of the ideology. You are on your own. Mm -hmm. so, so that is, I think, where the problem is. Uh, the 
problem is, I think, what you touched on, yeah. that the problem was at the party primaries, because mm. most of the independents actually subscribed to one political divide or the other. And so they, because they were locked out of the party primaries, then they became independents. But ideally, you should be really independent right from the word go, right, so that you even avoid going into party primaries. You'll have a one-month head start mm -hmm. to start campaigning okay. and mm. really go out on your own. And so once again, we do want to support. I know Milio Diambo has already got a draft bill on political parties, uh, primary funding. Mm -hmm. We need a separate body, maybe not even IBC, but someone should even just look and there needs to be a budget for it, just like there's the political parties funding yeah. where now we are funding political party primaries because we know that that's a very important transition point into okay. the main And of course, uh, the genesis of this entire discussion uh, started from what IBC did yesterday uh, and uh, the ruling uh, with regard to how independents should conduct themselves uh, during the campaigns, they are not allowed to use uh, the image of uh, a presidential candidate from a different party. They are not allowed to. So that is something that has come out clearly. Uh, the IBC has declared itself in that matter. It is an election offence if an independent candidate uses the image of a presidential candidate from another party. That is something that we did not know. Now we do. Yes, uh, but uh, going back to that particular issue, the kind of discipline or penalties that the IEBC has uh, meted out on these candidates. Uh, this is the very first time we're seeing the electoral agency actually come out and punish people with regard to a breach of electro uh, electoral code of conduct. O what do you think of that act by the IEBC? Lusaka and Nukri Fongamati each has to pay a million shillings within 24 hours from that uh, from when that uh, uh, ruling was declared. Yes, Failure yes. to do that, you buy from the election. Well, I know. Uh, Lusaka's opponent, Wickley Gamati, who's in the same party as I, Ford Kenya, mm -hmm. is a man of means, and so definitely... He has to raise a million dollars. That's pocket change for WWW, so mm -hmm. I know he's already paid it by now. But then, of course, we're seeing that IBC is coming out very strongly to assert itself. And we want to see that assertion even in all the other areas. When we see headlines, where the Pope from the CJ, because of the the case that NASA has filed about the ballot papers mm. and all, we want to see IBC speaking for itself and not maybe having Jubilee speak for it. And so that is, that's an opportunity for it to really assert itself because mm. we're looking at building confidence. Can we trust this IBC to really help us through this process. They are the electoral agency. We're respecting it as an institution. Of course, when they see them meet out these mm -hmm. um, sanctions on ca errant candidates, then we do know that they are doing their job. But then they shouldn't pick and choose. And everything where the red flag is raised, we want to yes. see them responding uh, as quickly and efficiently. And this, kind of doing. this kind of action is what probably we would have hoped for much earlier. Uh, during the party primaries, we saw quite a lot of chaos, quite a lot of indiscipline by politicians. Uh, uh, only now is when we get to see IEBC actually punish someone and because of the election day uh, everyone is okay fine I will pay up because I don't want to be out of the ball uh, uh, missing from the ballot paper mm -hmm. yes yeah I, I think uh, um, it's a very good move by IEBC and, and not just I hope it's not the only thing that is going to happen we have seen a lot of violence mm -hmm. especially on women and youth a lot of times uh, it happens and, and, and really people just wish it away and people go through the process. Now that this has happened, then it's going to send the right signal that people have to do what they need to do right yes. so that we carry on through this election uh, electioneering period yes. without any... But Amongangi, of course you must have watched the IBC Kenley. Uh, now whatever action you take or your movements, uh, uh, you have to be careful 45 days to the election. If you do something wrong, uh, it could cost you. Uh, true, but I think... Uh, a million dollars at this point is something you could use in your campaign. You don't want to do that at all because of indiscipline. Uh, but but mm -hmm. even the issue is not even one million or ten million because some people we have mm -hmm. seen uh, people carrying money with uh, some uh, bags. Mm -hmm. That means money is nothing to some people. And and, and uh, I think what we should be concerned is the security of our people. The same security mm -hmm. I'm agitating for yeah. myself mm -hmm. should yeah. be also the same, uh, the same, mm -hmm. same security I agitate and appeal uh, to my supporters and uh, even those of the opponent. Because uh, even if you pay a billion, it's not worthy somebody's uh, yes. life. Mm -hmm. uh, the governor, the good governor there and uh, Wangamati, they are not going to resolve the person who died. Uh, the, f the fact remains that person died and is going to be buried. 
um, so I think uh, it's not also fair to get a bloody position. Mm -hmm. At what cost? Yes. At what cost? Sincerely. We need to grow our democracy and ensure we respect one another. Mm -hmm. If you know, and I always uh, appeal, if I'm competing with the uh, uh, soon to be senator, uh, and I know he is today campaigning from a certain uh, region, why would I go there? Mm -hmm. You need to avoid. Uh, let him have his way. Let him also uh, respect uh, me and uh, allow me to have my way. And my day with uh, the voters. He explains his ideas. He explains. I uh, also explain my ideas. And that's all. Sometimes, uh, <coughs> even uh, when you hear some people argue, and even when you analyze our national politics today, actually it is about like where do you come from and uh, mm -hmm. who is the candidate there yes uh, today look at even the support of uh, the jubilee and nasa you will tell mm -hmm. like as i sit here if you ask a question here and you allow Kenyans to vote definitely they will place me somewhere yes where, where did this come from <laughs> the the idea, idea, idea. Not, not, not the idea of no, selling to the country yes. that comes yes. up because when IBC is giving a ruling on violence, there's also a bit of the amended electoral laws that says that IBC now can now um, state an election in either a ward or constituency mm -hmm. or in, in that place. And if so, there's violence. yeah, if there's violence, either the returning officer can say there's mm -hmm. no election in this ward because there's violence, or in this constituency. And so, even though that that will affect. The presidential vote, since it's really mm -hmm. so hotly contested, and so that's something that even as Kenyans, we need to maintain the peace. If mm -hmm. you don't want a returning officer saying there will be no election, yes. uh, the feeling is that probably IBC should have uh, been a bit more tough on these uh, 14 candidates. At least uh, one of them we should have seen the IBC act and probably bar them from the uh, election. So that uh, just to serve as an example, would you think that would have looked even better? Because uh, as Bonamangani mentioned, the uh, money probably is not a big deal to some of these politicians at this point. No, oh, it's very dangerous to kick out uh, any politician from the political scene. It is what usually causes revolution. Is what is usually causing even when there's an obvious uh, wrongdoing on the part of some of them. Don't just say the uh, well, well, the, the, right the, the right to be voted and the right to vote is so fundamental that it, it's only in very exceptional matters that one can uh, be barred from participating in politics. Mm -hmm. Because when you close that avenue, often than not, you are telling this person to look for other extra legal means to achieve his goal. So it's always uh, commendable every time to allow people to vie. And no wonder this argument, I recall, I think we had a debate here, and also it's also mm -hmm. an ongoing debate as to whether chapter 6, uh, no, the, 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 the chapter on, on integrity, integrity. Yes. whether it should be used to bar people from vying. And we have seen uh, IBC has been quite liberal, mm -hmm. allowing every person to vie. To, to me, that's a better scenario. You leave to Kenyans to decide their own fate. So as no opposed, one should be bad for the As opposed, to some people sitting down here uh, are getting themselves hard power to decide you don't buy, you don't buy, I don't know, you have this problem, you have this problem, no. I think uh, uh, we get the leaders that we want as Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So IBC was even wrong probably in the case of uh, Wavinia and Deti to try and bar from the ballot paper uh, on basis of uh, uh, allegations that she had uh, hopped from one party to another? Well, of course, if at all the law provides that she had violated the law or she resigned late, of course, as IBC, your hands are tied. Mm -hmm. You have to follow the law as it is, not as it ought to be. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the other hand, I would personally, I would be quite cautious okay. in barring any anyway. person okay. from vying. You know, Fred, but, uh, when you talk about a candidate, it's not, don't look at the individual. It's a candidate plus all the people mm -hmm. that are backing this candidate. So you're not dealing with an individual. You're dealing with a whole lot and of... And even encouraging a lot of indiscipline, political indiscipline uh, from a political elite because uh, it just uh, the fact that you know you have enough money to pay the fines and no one can buy you from the ballot uh, paper, then uh, you're free to do anything. But I think uh, the, the fines that uh, have been meted, uh, even if we say um, people have the money, I think with with time they will get more punitive if you ask me mm -hmm. because it's a but they shouldn't get to that point where you but are actually they, they, should, the they shouldn't get to that point wow. okay mm -hmm. but i think also on the same you know Mosma, i was going through this uh, elections law and i realized uh, 
it is not punitive enough for even uh, the IBC itself if for example IBC is supposed to do one two three and they fail to do there is nothing that is meted on them mm -hmm. you know it is just it just takes somebody breaks the law and that is not enough that uh, needs to be looked into in the future mm -hmm. to ensure if I'm a Kenyan, I'm seated somewhere like I'm a senator and I have a specific duty, there is something compelling me to do. And if I don't do, then the following will happen to me. That, that has that to be a break break of consequences. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, let's move on to another headline. And uh, I think this is the biggest headline of both dailies. It has to do with NASA moving to court <coughs> to challenge the award of that ballot uh, paper printing tender to Al Guraya. Uh, of course, uh, the CJ, and it features prominently on both uh, the front pages of the Standard and uh, the Daily Nation, the CJ pronouncing himself and he says, we do not want to hamper the election process. If we do so in any way, it is going to interfere with the elections. There's no question of us not holding the poll on August the 8th. Now, what does it mean when the Chief Justice comes out and pronounces himself on a matter that has been taken to court? and uh, he says this will happen or this will not happen don't you think that's prejudicial to some extent that the CJ should just wait for the court process even himself uh, before the matter is presented to him uh, at the level of the Supreme Court that he should not pronounce himself like this he should on, the front pages of the on the front pages of the daily papers of this nation because basically what then IEBC should have done is taken that opportunity to instill confidence in mm -hmm. the people when a red flag was raised that um, we feel like the Jubilee uh, party is doing business, has or has some sort of um, partnership or let me say mm -hmm. they have contact with the people that you have given this tender, then IBC should have come out very strongly and said something, done something about it. And now they, they took a bold stance of saying we're not changing, we're not moving, this is the company that we have given and they are going ahead and doing it. Taking that kind of stance without listening to aggrieved parties I think is not the way to go, especially for an electoral agent that is, wants the Kenyans to have confidence mm -hmm. in them. This is a situation now where we are letting now it play in the courts and that is likely to give it less time to conduct the elections on August 8th because now what we're saying that if we do change the company you'll just have less time to mm -hmm. operate because by August 8th we will be having an election yes. there's no doubt about it. Then again, do you think uh, the CJ was wrong in uh, commenting on this matter that you should probably have let the matter go through the judicial process uh, that coming out and saying that this will happen or this will not happen uh, is actually could be prejudicial? No, I think what he is doing is just to reaffirm the position provided for in the Constitution, which is simply yes, that the election in August, eighth uh, of August, this year. So he did not say anything new. He did not comment on the merits and the merits of the matter that has been filed in court by NASA. But the yeah. process could go either way. Uh, for the CJ to say it has to be like this and uh, this will stand. No, I think even NASA has not prayed for. Uh, for the, 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 the election. Yes, yes, yes. I think the, what is before the court for now is the issue concerning that tender. But uh, maybe the, your insinuation or your interpretation is out of the statement that was made by the IBC chair that if this matter goes to court and a court injunction is issued, it may affect the elections date. So when you uh, when you take that, you just oppose that to this statement. Uh, uh, then you because the, the, the headlines today are about the CJ, and that's why his picture is also uh, is both on the front page of the Daily Nation and on the front page of the Standard. And we are dealing with headlines here uh, that we've not created; they come to us. No, I get your point, yeah. uh, and I also get the the notion amongst the editors who came up with this. Uh, headline, eh? but to me the way I understood his statement, it was very clear that he did not uh, he did not comment on the matter substantively. He was only saying that uh, notwithstanding any matter that is before the court, the courts are not going to start uh, preparation for the general elections. However, I believe to the school of thought that uh, this guy is NASA. 
they are not interested in the results of the they are not interested in these elections at all. No 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 no. They are not interested. No, allow me to do not allow him to continue with that thought because it is untrue. We are saying we are having the election of everyone on this panel. He is not going to be doing right. Any, anyone on this panel will get an opportunity to say what they want and you will get an opportunity These to challenge. These are the same doctors that are saying everything. They think that we are fearing to have elections on August 8th. We are ready. We want 207. We want 2013. Mm -hmm. We have the numbers to win in 2017. What we are challenging are processes leading up to that election yes. that would in any way mar the outcome of that. It is about the outcome. Okay. Are they willing to relinquish power is what we would be asking about okay. because we are ready for August 8th. Okay. Are you ready to let go of it? Okay, let's give the Nairun Kangara a chance. Do you still want to pursue the... Uh, <laughs> okay. There was a guy who was called Krigler. He advised that uh, for a credible election to be held, you need to have a commission. I think one year, is it two years before the elections? Don't change it. But uh, in contrast to that advice, uh, Mr. Arela Odinga pushed for the ejection of Hassan-led IEBC. Mm -hmm. we, we, we agreed to that, by the way, reluctantly. Uh, uh, number two, after the new co commission came into office, and by the way, it is headed by a person who one month to his, uh, his, uh, his uh, joining IEBC, was an ODM member, the Chebukati. Now, Mr. Odinga is now criticizing Mr. Chebukati, left, right, and center. Uh, every time IBC does, everything they, do, they challenge it, either by proxy or they themselves. They challenge the auditing of, or they, they challenge the, the, the auditing of the voter uh, register. And by the way, re recall very well, eh? The idea of auditing is provided for in the law, and that law is a law that was created by both parties in a consensual manner. Mm -hmm. They challenged it. Now, they are challenging now this other aspect of direct sourcing. Of but but you're, you're, claiming that they claiming, want, you're, you're claiming that they want to change the election date. Is in, you're saying it's only implied. It's no, 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 The conclusion they are not ready for this election is based on several... But they're not looking to change the election date. No, no, they are not interested in this election. They have lost as it comes. As one, you don't want to create a new system. You don't want to create a new system. The sentiment will win him some folks in Moranga, which I ask the thing is, the thing is, I've known him to be a Christian, but I think he has changed. Since he implied he is the poorest member of parliament, he has changed. The thing is, we have the church in this country. We have different non-political players. Mm -hmm. They are saying, sit down and talk. Are you saying they are mad? Mm -hmm. No. We are addressing a specific <coughs> issue here. And the specific issue is the manner in which the, this procurement was done. The issue at hand is, are the owners of this Gurai, or, or this Gurai. printing uh, company, are they in bed with somebody in state house? Are they in bed with the rulers in this country? That is our concern. And we are saying, we do not want a, uh, a referee who is uh, who has spent the whole night celebrating with the one team and now you are taking the same team to face another team okay. in the field. Let's Let's the together. I think it is in the interest of all of us to have a credible election. Mm -hmm. And I think what we are discussing is the, is the headline yes. from the CJ. From where I sit, I think the CJ was from the way I understand it, the CJ is simply saying we are not going to change the 8th of August election. Yeah, no one has applied for that. That is a provision in mm -hmm. law. And then again, when you, when you allege that someone has done something, has done something, then it is, in your, it is, it is your business really to prove mm -hmm. your allegations. Otherwise, they just remain that allegation. Mm -hmm. So is there any truth in what is being alleged? Has anyone got um, 
mm -hmm. uh, evidence that this has really happened. Okay. Those are the things that we should be dealing with. Okay. Yeah. Let's now take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up uh, this uh, news review this morning discussing uh, the proposal by NASA to have five agents at every polling station. The police inspector general has already said that that cannot happen. Only one agent per party. That will be returned.